Hi, my name's Deneen, and I wanted to go ahead and show you one of my new favorite recipes. Uh, my husband, my kids, we all like it. It is called grilled cheese and tomato bake. So the ingredients that you'll need, uh, you will need um, garlic salt. You'll need three cans of tomato soup. Um, all these products are purchased at Aldi's. You'll need three tablespoons of butter. You'll need two cups of cheese. You can buy mild cheddar, you can buy the Mexican cheese, you can buy Colby, Jack, any cheese that you like. You're gonna need probably about two cups, um, give or take, depending on how cheesy you want your um, castle to be. And then the last thing I buy is the Italian bread from Aldi. You can buy sourdough bread, you can do the long loaves. Um, I just like this one. I think it's easier to cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up and then show you the rest of the steps. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna cut my loaf. Um, and I think it's easiest to just cut it in, like cube it, kinda like you would dice potatoes. And you're just gonna cube it, the whole loaf, and you're gonna put it inside your pan. Okay, this is what your pan will look like once you have the bread all cut up. Um, you know, if you're doing um, this bread as well, um, you can actually just rip it apart with your hands. I think that would work just as fine. Um, I'm gonna make the butter garlic sauce that's gonna go, I'm gonna melt the butter, uh, three pats of, um, three tablespoons of butter, three pats, and probably a teaspoon or so of the garlic salt. I just kind of shake it in there, whatever I think I want. Uh, I'll warm it in the microwave, um, and then you're gonna just drizzle it on top of the to on the bread. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven behind me. Um, I have it warming up at 400. You're gonna put the bread in there with the butter drizzle on top to toast the bread. Um, and then you take it out, and then we'll do the next step. Okay, so here's my butter mixture. Um, I did end up adding one more pat of butter in there, so a total of four tablespoons of butter melted in my measuring cup here. And I put in um, the garlic salt. If you measured it out, I would start with, uh, I would just do a table, uh, a teaspoon, sorry, a teaspoon of the garlic salt. And then what you're gonna do on there is you're just gonna take it and you're gonna drizzle the bread. It's going to add like a coating on there and then once you put this in the oven it's going to give it a nice crisp to the bread kind of like that grilled cheese so um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven 400 for about 15 minutes just to get the bread toasted I'll check it periodically everybody's oven works a little bit different so you just want to have it lightly a little bit of toasting on it when you take it out what I often do is either toasting or I'll kind of just, with clean hands, I'll just kind of touch it to see if um, it is, feels toasted. Um, it doesn't have to be super um, brown when you take it out. Okay, I just took the, the bread out of the oven. You can see, if you can see here, it's just lightly toasted, um, barely brown. Some of the toast here. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take, angle this down. Sorry, the tripod is new to me. Um, I'm just going to take the tomato soup and drizzle it on the bread. I'm going to use three cans. It, the recipe does say uh, two, um, but I like the extra sauce on it. So. I'm going to use three cans. They're just the small cans. It doesn't make the bread soggy, so when you cook it, you may think, oh, you just, you know, made all your bread soggy because you just put the liquid on. Toasting it in advance actually does make it really crispy. Um, and then I just take my mild cheddar, and I'm just going to spread it on top. And as I said, about two cups of cheese is what you'll want for your recipe. Give or take if you like the cheese.
And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back in the oven um, at, I'm gonna up it to 425 for about 20 minutes to let the cheese melt in and uh, warm up the soup. Um, so for about 20 minutes, and then I'll show you when it's done. Okay, this is how the, the grilled cheese and tomato bake looks after it's done cooking. You can see it's nicely toasted. All of the cheese is melted. Um, it does come out pretty hot, so I usually let it sit for about five, 10 minutes, and then I serve it uh, warm. Um, it's a family favorite. Um, it does have a little kick to it when you first take a bite. Uh, it's a taste that you're not usually used to in a casserole, so it does get a little bit, um, at first you're kind of like not sure about the taste, um, but it is uh, pretty addicting once you start um, getting used to kind of the tartness of the tomato soup. But So this is the grilled cheese and tomato bake. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Otherwise, like, subscribe. Thank you.